to my channel. We're doing exciting things today. And first of all, if I sound like my, I'm out of breath, it's because I am. Um, I just literally changed my entire schedule for my afternoon and I'm going to an impulsive hair salon visit with Crystal to deal with his hair and get her nice and freshened up and popping for New York Fashion Week. Okay. So I so many things there, so many exciting things there. I literally can't believe I'm going to New York Fashion Week for the first time ever. I'm so excited. I'm going with my agency. It's a new agency that I've signed with and they got us into a couple events as well. I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. So I literally texted Crystal earlier today and I was like, um, let me know if you have any availability because she'd be booked. Booked and busy. So I was just like, let me just try and see um, if we can get a trim in. And I also told her, I kind of feel like I want to dye my hair black. I want like a richer color going on. I'm enjoying the dark vibes, especially with fall and winter coming up. So I was just like, hey, kind of thinking of going black and also wanting to get like kind of freshened up. Let me know if you have any availability between now and next week. And she said that she got a cancellation today. So I was like, ah! <laughs> start running around now, doing everything I need to do. I just took Hershey for her afternoon walkies a little bit earlier than we normally go so that I can make this appointment. And let's get this popping. I'm like, I'm actually so excited. I do have like, there's a couple of these little guys. Um, really, I don't want to change much at all about the shape. I just kind of want to freshen it up just a little bit. So we'll probably do some like light curl dusting and then we're going for a richer, more popping color. I'm really, really freaking excited. So here is a good look at the before. Hold on, let's get into some natural light so y'all can really see. I feel like on the camera, the way the camera is making it look, it's like it looks good. Like I don't hate it, but it also kind of gives like a little faded sometimes. By the way, this is like day seven hair, I think. I've been going to the gym, it's, it's nasty. I already texted her and I was like, I'm so sorry, but my hair is really dirty, is that okay? She's like, it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, here is our beautiful before. So yeah, I gotta go, like I actually gotta go right now so we can hit the road and get this party started. We have arrived, it's time to go in. Mm. thinking about black. You guys, some of them great. Girl, I have a whole oh cluster God. of grays. Yeah. Um, I'm not super mad at them, but no. I also wouldn't be mad if they were gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just feeling like my hair is a little dull, like it's just looking like dull faded black. Yeah. It's my natural color. So I was just thinking maybe some black could just yeah, give it some more shine and stuff. Yeah. I know the last time we did toner, I think we just did toner on it, yeah. but I I kind of felt like it just sat on top of my curls, which I figure is what toner does. It's yes. supposed to do anyway. Yes. So I wanted to see what you thought about the You want to do more permanent? Color. Yeah. What do you think? If you're not... Gonna lighten later on? Yes. Yeah. If you're not gonna lighten, then I say go for it. It's gonna stick around longer. Okay. Um, if you think you yeah, might yeah, lighten yeah, yeah, yeah. in the next six months, yeah, no. then I would. Yeah, no, I don't plan, definitely not in the next six months. Yeah, then I'd say go for it. Okay, and do we think like jet black would be like too harsh on me or do you think it would look good, like a nice pop? I don't know. I mean, your hair is so close to, uh, to jet black. I don't yeah. think it would be hard. Okay. I think it's just gonna add a lot of shine. That's honestly. what I want. I want a rich color that looks shiny, helps yeah. curls pop Unless a little more. Unless you want to like add warmth versus the coolness. It just kind of depends on what direction you want to go. Okay, go like darker. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah, it's leaning so towards hard. The warm. And this is not lightening, right? No. The warm wouldn't be lightening it. It's mm -hmm. just kind of. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. A warmer tone's gonna appear lighter. A cooler tone's gonna appear darker. Okay. If that affects the decision. What you're thinking. Okay. If you want to like go darker. For the fall, then maybe dark. I would go with that one. I was thinking maybe darker. Let's do it. And I'm maybe, sure. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty either way, honestly. Yeah. You can go either way with your skin tone. This is just so black. It's like, I don't yes. think I've ever done. I love your bracelet. So black before. I don't know. Oh, I'm too, I'm too Libra. <laughs> I'm really indecisive. Yeah, I'm gonna go get Randy. Okay. 
It's kind of, the black is really close to what you have already, but it will kind of bring up more... Yeah. Richness. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you did a bit more round, you'll add a bit more like dimension. I'll throw it at two, which will add more like depth, but still kind of bring out more warmth out of your face and your complexion as mm -hmm. well. You have okay. a lot of different options between the two. If you want something that's a bit more like rich, just so mm -hmm. kind of bring out more of the richness of your tonality in the face, mm -hmm. or something that's a bit more like brown. Yeah, no, let's just do the black. Let's do the black. Yeah. Do it. It's not gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be. Okay. It's, it's gonna be good. I think good. Yeah. Yeah. You say, all right, let's do it. Let's keep going with the black. Thank you. Yeah. Kidding me? We're like 90% dry, <sighs> and it looks so good. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to show you guys day two. My camera's about to die, but I just wanted to give y'all a super quick look. But we will get into full details once we're fully dry on day two tomorrow. All right, y'all. It is day three. My appointment was on Thursday, so it's Saturday right now, and this is how we're looking. Quick side note: I am filming on an older camera of mine. Let me know what y'all think about like the vibe, the quality, or whatever. I used to vlog on this camera a long time ago. I cannot find the charger and my extra batteries at all for this. I know it's sitting somewhere, um, but the joys of moving, right? It's still, it's still just. I just. There's just things that just go missing sometimes. Anyways, hopefully I find that soon. Um, but more importantly, let's focus on this hair. You guys, okay, so I'm gonna throw up some before and afters because it is such a subtle change, but it is a massive change. Like at the same time, like to me, it just gives everything that it needs to give, okay? It's exactly what I was going for. I wanted something more rich, something that still felt pretty natural to me. I'm not interested in highlights for the moment. So that could change anytime, y'all already know me, but Right now, I'm kind of liking like all one color, a more natural kind of look, and this kind of just enhanced my natural color, really and truly. I feel like my hair just looks more vibrant, um, and I love the fact that it is so much healthier. Lightening the hair is much different to just adding like darkness to it. So she's like, basically, this color is like basically doing nothing to my hair. I did tell her, <laughs> low key, I was actually thinking about doing this myself because it seems like something that would just be so quick and easy. I was literally thinking about going to Sally Beauty <laughs> and buying some box dye, but I'm so glad I didn't because I told her that, and she was like, girl, I would have fought you because apparently. Apparently, like the box dyes are completely different in terms of ingredients and all that stuff versus what the professional will use. And you know I trust Crystal with my life, so I'm so glad that I ended up texting her. We got the appointments and we got it done. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, if you're ever gonna do any color with your hair, I definitely recommend 100% seeing a professional no matter what it is because you'll always just end up better. I feel like... <laughs> Is the lighting weird on this camera? I'm just not used to filming on this. Hold on, let me turn off. Oh yeah, okay wait, the lighting looks so much better now without my vanity lights on. Natural lighting for the win. So let me know in the comments what you think. This is the vibe that I'm on. Um, as you guys saw, it was a huge dilemma as to whether I wanted to do this cool tone black, which is what I ended up going with, versus a more dark, 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 dark brown that is more on the warm side. Um, so far, I am really excited about like the cool tone. Like it's looking really good. It's looking really like, mm, like it's it's in your face. It's vibrant. Um, but I am 
having that like super dark like warm brown in the back of my mind she said that my black like over the next like however many months will fade naturally to a warmer black so i'm curious to see like how my hair color kind of goes over the next few months um and then maybe next time maybe we opt for the warm and kind of see how differently that would look feel like what's the vibe there i'm just i'm excited i'm excited because you know what it was in the back of my mind and i'm just so glad i did it because it's kind of fun getting to experiment with color without having to worry about damage like and even if you still want your hair dark like experimenting with dark colors is still a lot of fun yeah the shape is just looking really really fresh and we are ready we are ready for new york fashion week <laughs> A lot of the girlies, no shade to them because everybody looks beautiful and amazing in their weaves, their ponytails, their braids, their wigs, all that stuff, right? Like, I think it's fire. I love that. But for me, I'm so excited to pop out with my natural hair. My natural hair, my natural curls, not necessarily my natural color, but it's close to it. I will probably take you guys along the ride for when I do wash my hair, um, when I'm getting ready for fashion week, and then take y'all along to actual fashion week with me. So yeah guys, that is gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing fun transition videos, more before and afters of my hair and stuff, I've got all of that stuff on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure y'all are following me on there. I will catch y'all next week for all the New York fashion week fun. Until then, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. I'll see y'all in the next video.